Our problem is, what splitting pattern is observed in the proton NMR spectrum for the indicated hydrogens for this molecule? I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. Can you please explain? It's really not that complicated. First you look at the hydrogens adjacent to the hydrogen in question, and then you look at their surroundings and you see that they're equivalent because their neighboring surroundings are the same. And so then all you have to do is plug it into the formula N plus 1. Now if these were different, your process would be much more complicated, but let's worry about this first. So N plus 1, where N is the number of hydrogens, which would be 4, plus 1 equals 5, which gives us a pentet or a quintet, which is the more modern term. Earlier, when we counted our hydrogens, we counted four. Therefore, we can automatically eliminate from our given choices the singlet, doublet, triplet, triplet quartet, and quartet quartet. Now you may wonder why it can't be a quartet or a doublet doublet. After all, we did just count four neighboring hydrogens. We must remember the n plus one rule we just learned, where n equals the number of neighboring hydrogens of a given chemical shift, and one equals the hydrogen in question. Although a doublet triplet appears to equal 5, the same number we derived from our n plus 1 rule, we can eliminate it from our problem. It, as well as all of the other given choices in the white column, are multiplets and signify complex spin spin splitting. When this occurs, we must count the n plus 1 separately for each group of chemical shifts. Now we only have a pentet and a triplet triplet left. It may be easy to assume it's a triplet triplet because we see two sets of neighboring hydrogens. However, in this particular molecule, there is a planar symmetry right at our hydrogen in question. The two sets are equivalent, thus we count them as 1n. Let's look at an example of one that would be a triplet-triplet. So we're going to change this methoxy to a, an al alcohol. So we're going to do OH. And then we'll keep this side the same. So now we're going to look at our adjacent hydrogens, and we see that this adjacent hydrogen is in a different environment than this adjacent hydrogen. So then we're going to count each side separately. So in this example, it would be a triplet triplet. Oh my gosh, I totally get it now. Thank you. So, wait, what exactly is a pentet? The pentet can be seen on an NMR spectrum, which looks like this. And the ratio is always 1 to 4 to 6 to 4 to 1, according to Pascal's triangle, which you probably learned in math class. Wait, so what ratio? Where did that come from? In order to answer your question, we need to revert back to the original molecule. So the hydrogen in question is spinning in a direction, but we're not sure what direction that is. So we'll signify it like that. So it needs to be split in order to accommodate for its adjacent hydrogens. So the adjacent hydrogens can either be spinning with the hydrogen in question, which would be alpha position, or against it, which would be the beta spin. So all four hydrogens could either be alpha to the original hydrogen, or they could, or one could be beta, while the other three are alpha, or two could be beta, while the other two are alpha, or three could be beta, while one is alpha, or all four could be beta to the original hydrogen. So these um, spinning patterns can be uh, arranged differently, as we see over here. Um, this, this, uh, this beta spin can either be in the first, second, third, or fourth position. So as you see, um, the NMR has different peaks due to the different possibilities of arrangement of these spinning patterns. So if we draw the peaks, it's a 1 to 4 to 6 to 4 to 1 ratio. Yes, I finally understand how to do this now. Awesome. Wait, so what can I use this for now? In the real world, NMR spectra is used to determine the structural form, which is this form, of different compounds simply from using their molecular formula and their NMR spectra. In detail, the spin-spin splitting determines the environment around a hydrogen so that you know where to put your carbons and hydrogens in your structural